you have a biological fear off switch in your brain. But odds are, no one ever showed you how to use it. We all know that paralyzing feeling, the racing heart, the sweaty palms, when a big moment hits. It's that surge that can shrink your world, make you play small, and keep you completely stuck. But what if you could flip that switch and turn fear into calm, focus, confidence? What if the very system designed to protect you is also holding you prisoner and you're holding the key? In this video, we're breaking down a simple psychological trick backed by neuroscience that helps you calm that primal part of your brain and put you back in control. Stick around because you're about to learn how to turn down the volume of fear, not by fighting it, but by rewiring your relationship with it. For generations, we've been told the same thing. Just calm down. Don't be anxious. Be fearless. We say it to our friends, our kids, ourselves. But let's be real. Has that ever actually worked? In the middle of panic, has telling yourself to relax ever slowed your heart rate? Of course not. Science shows that forcing calmness actually backfires. You can't outthink fear because fear isn't logical. Deep inside your brain lives a tiny almond-shaped alarm system called the amygdala. Think of it as your body's hypersensitive smoke detector. Is it one job? To sense danger, fast. When it thinks something's wrong, it floods your body with adrenaline and cortisol before your rational brain even wakes up. This system was built for speed, not accuracy. That's why you flinch at loud sounds or sudden movement. It's your survival instinct firing on autopilot. So when you try to just calm down, you're basically pressing the gas pedal while your brain's emergency brake is locked tight. That's called an amygdala hijack. When your alarm system cuts off your logical brain, an emotion takes the wheel. Trying to ignore it makes it worse because now you're not just scared, you're frustrated that you can't stop being scared. But here's the truth, you're not powerless, you're just untrained. Here's the secret no one taught you. While the amygdala sets off the alarm, your brain has a built-in command center that can switch it off. It's called the prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain right behind your forehead that controls logic, focus, and self-awareness. Imagine your brain as a ship. The amygdala is the frantic lookout in the crow's nest, screaming iceberg ahead at every shape in the water. Your prefrontal cortex is the captain on the bridge, calm, steady, experienced. It checks the radar, reads the map and says, thank you, but it's just a wave. That's your biological fear off switch. The key is learning how to consciously activate it. Most of us get swept away by the lookout's panic before the captain even has a chance to grab the wheel. But neuroscience proves you can train yourself to bring the captain online faster. That's how you take back control. You're not fighting fear, you're learning to lead it. You're teaching your brain to respond, not react. This is the real skill, the art of self-regulation. And like any skill, you can learn it, practice it, and master it. So the next time fear floods in, remember this, you're not broken, you're built to evolve. Your brain already has the switch. You just need to learn how to flip it. That's the power of awareness. That's the science of mastery. That's how you hack your brain to erase fear. Let's stick with an analogy. Your amygdala is a super sensitive smoke detector. It's amazing at its job. The second it detects a puff of smoke, it blasts a full-blown alarm. It doesn't know the difference between you burning toast and the whole house being on fire. Its motto is, better safe than sorry. Now your prefrontal cortex is the homeowner. It hears the alarm, but instead of panicking, it has the ability to walk into the kitchen, see the smoking piece of bread in the toaster, and calmly press the hush button on the alarm, knowing there's no real danger. When you face something that scares you, public speaking, a tough conversation, your amygdala senses a threat and yanks the fire alarm. That's your racing heart and sweaty palms. It's an amygdala hijack. At that moment, your prefrontal cortex, your inner homeowner, is often offline, totally overwhelmed by the noise. The psychological trick here is a method to bring that homeowner back online. Research confirms that simple cognitive actions can shift brain activity 
from the reactive amygdala to the thoughtful prefrontal cortex. This top-down control is a well-documented brain function. When you stimulate the prefrontal cortex, it can actively tell the amygdala's fear response to chill out. This isn't just a one-time party trick. It's about literally rewiring your brain. Think of it like creating a path in an overgrown field. The first time you walk from the alarm to the kitchen to check on it, the journey is slow and difficult. But every time you successfully use your prefrontal cortex to calm your amygdala, you trample down the grass a little more. This is neuroplasticity in action. Over time, that trail becomes a well-worn, easy to follow path. You're not getting rid of the alarm. You're just getting much faster at figuring out if it's a real fire or just burnt toast. Your three-step fear regulation protocol. Step one, recognize and name the fear. The moment you feel it, the tight chest, the shaky hands, your first job isn't to fight it, it's to notice it. Imagine fear is a monster hiding in a dark room. Naming it is like flipping on the lights. Say, this is fear, or I'm feeling anxious. It reduces amygdala activity and engages your prefrontal cortex. Step two, reframe the narrative with a question. Ask, what if this feeling isn't a signal of danger, but a signal that I'm about to do something important? This rewrites the fear as preparation energy, not panic. Step three, reinforce with a power affirmation. Say, I acknowledge this feeling and I have the tools to handle what comes next. This locks in the new pattern. You're not denying the fear, you're grounding through it. Let's apply it to real life scenarios. Scenario one, big presentation. You're in bed the night before. Recognize, this is fear. Reframe, this is energy preparing me. Reinforce, I'm capable and I have the tools. Now sleep. Scenario two, hard conversation. Recognize, I'm afraid of conflict. Reframe, this is what courage feels like. Reinforce, I can stay calm and speak clearly. The point isn't to eliminate fear, it's to navigate through it. Use the protocol, walk the path, and trust the trail gets smoother. Fear isn't your enemy, it's a message. And now, you know how to respond.